All right, now, the story of some special helping hands belonging to these two girls over in Ann Arbor. They've been best friends since kindergarten and have grown up figuring out ways to help others. So when they saw news reports of health care workers in need during COVID, they wanted to help. Our Paula Tutman shows us how the two sixth graders have jumped into action. You got to get a big bowl. Big fancy bowl. Big bowl. Big bowl. On the outside, they seem like typical 11 year old girls filled with light and fun and laughter. But a deeper conversation with Mabry and Stella, and within moments, you get that these Ann Arbor preteens are enlightened and engaged. When I was um, spending a lot of time like watching the news. It was mid-July or early July, mm -hmm. and Detroit was getting hit pretty hard with COVID. Healthcare workers were struggling to get the personal protection equipment they needed. I actually did a story on a teacher who was making PPE out of plastic tablecloths to protect her fiance, who was a nurse. Stella and Mabry took it all in, not as 11-year-olds, but as humans. They should be able to just go into work with the gear they need to do their job. And they decided to raise money to help Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit's COVID emergency relief effort. This time we have peanut butter dog treats, brownies. Now these two girls are already experienced fundraisers, helping their local Humane Society last year. And they took that branding know-how and that 11-year-old can-do spirit and have made fundraising their superpower. They have a website. They sell paintings, soap, and other handmade, homemade items. They've sponsored contests. They've used their imaginations to create ways to raise money. This year, we moved to online mm -hmm. fundraisers. That was mainly because of COVID, mm -hmm. and we just thought it would be safer. The girls contacted Henry Ford Health System to say, we have your back. As a health system, Henry Ford Health System doesn't turn any patient away. Um, we typically, in a given year, will have about $450 million in uncompensated care. Um, and this comes from us taking care of folks who don't have insurance. The margin in health care is about 2%. So, you know, fundraising can really establish the difference between good and great. When you raise money for somebody else, it just it feels really good. It feels like you're being a really good person. It feels good to know you're making a difference. Mm -hmm. So thus far, the girls have raised about $1,400, but this really isn't about the how much. It really is about the how can. How can you do a lot, even by helping just a little? Paula Tutman, Local 4. Stella and Mabry are still actively fundraising with their Helping Hands organization by selling a variety of products on their website. And we're going to put a link on our website and our social media platforms so you can check them out.